is backing former president Thabo Mbeki, dismissing the concept of white monopoly capital. He says almost half of the companies listed on the JSE are owned by non-South Africans, and the remaining majority is fund managers, one of which is government pensions funds under the Public Investment Corporation. He says even Old Mutual, a company he chairs, are funds of working class South Africans, not just white citizens. And what I heard President Zuma say in Nyanga on Monday night is, if you don't believe in white monopoly capital, you don't live in South Africa. There's no science to that statement, I'm afraid. There is no science to that statement, I'm saying, produce the evidence. Manuel also told his audience that it was up to citizens to drive the quality of our democracy, saying corruption steals from the poor and citizens must be careful of phrases on radical transformation. The stories we're reading about ESCOM and Transnet and trains that are too big and uh, uh, all of these deals that are structured involving Gupta Link companies actually raises the cost of electricity makes business un, uh, un, un, unaffordable, it takes away jobs, and denies successive generations the benefits of growth in this, com uh, in this country. And so we mustn't pretend for a moment that these things are just about emails and electronics. It's actually about something far more substantive. And active citizens must actually raise these issues. The former finance minister says the political landscape in the country will make for an interesting observation come the 2019 general election. I think we might be in for a very rough ride. Uh, it would shift power, but it may actually create a period of, of, of instability. Manuel says a knife-edge majority or coalition government is not good for passing budgets and legislation as experienced in the metros governed through coalitions. Ululani Philip, SABC News in Stellenbosch.